Exposing the truth behind the lies and fighting for the freedom of awareness. America's first competition talk show. The hub is engaging. Talk life. Michael, Leek, Brooke, and Chad are on the panel all week long. Welcome to the Hub Internet Show. I'm your host, Joel Aaron. And, and by the way, the... Uh, Right now, China is uh, is going is 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 space born again, and most recently, uh, as a week or so ago, we learned that they are now eating dog up there. They're they're eating dog in space. It's like <laughs> we swear off moonwalks, and within five minutes, they screw the pooch literally. And, and uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is the kind of bad thing that happens when America, the last best hope on earth, checks out of the equation, folks. This is dangerous. We should expect these kind of repercussions, Chad. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't know where the human, where the, where the rights groups and the, the animal rights groups, uh, you know, where are they right now? We don't hear the outcry. They only least. pay attention if a Republican did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Republican oh, astronaut did it. It's over. It's over. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. So, uh, right now, uh, just last week, Barack Obama, President Obama, who takes breaks every once in a while from selling health care reform, which he's still selling, even though it passed, you know, eight weeks ago, and, uh, and financial reform. To, uh, to speak at colleges for graduation ceremonies. He spoke most recently at Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia last week, uh, during which time he said that uh, one, of the dangers, uh, one of the dangers we have now is that in, in the iPad and Xbox era, information, I'm quoting, had be, has become a diversion that is imposing new strains on democracy. And I actually agree because actual information is truly a diversion from following Obama on Twitter, Facebook, Organizing for America, half a dozen YouTube channels. You know, I mean, you're right. We're not getting the information we would have if we're concentrating on actual information. And Leek, I think we need to concentrate on less of that and follow what's really important. Look, I, I had the same, just change a few words, and I had this exact same discussion with my liberal friends right after the election. Um, and, and when, when Obama got initial criticism, um, the same Internet and the same blogs that got Obama elected are now a bad, risky scheme. So the highest form of, of patriotism and the highest form of democracy were, um, were dissent and the Internet, respectively, in November 2008. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, in, in April 2010, the Internet and dissent are diversions and distractions and marginal movements and astroturf. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I swear, you you have you flipped on your Xbox in two thousand in two thousand eight, fall two thousand eight, and I swear, I'm watching. Uh, what, what's that video game with the car video game that everybody's playing all the time? It's uh, you know, it's 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 like uh, anyway, they're they're driving down the road and you see, <laughs> hey, forget it. I don't play. I'm not a gamer. Yeah, Can you tell? I'm not a gamer. I, either. Vote for nope, change. Nope there's a research. vote. There's a damn vote for change billboard on the side of the nope road. Vote to research. Driving department. down the road. Create research department. Create research department. Uh, uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's pathetic to me, but you're right. They embed, I mean, they had more money than God Almighty. Hey, can I get a refund? You know, uh, calling from heaven. But, uh, I mean, they, you know, they, 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 they put it on Xbox. They put it on iPod. They, they, they just revolutionized campaign fundraising and, uh, and, and campaigning through using new media. And now he's against all this. I mean, phenomenal point. Chad? Yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I think that, in reading the article that you were talking about, I thought I thought it was interesting. He um, he was talking about uh, he went further, you know, because he's talking to college students about um, how education uh, is is the key to um, you know America's success and things. And, and I'm not I I, I, I like to, to throw out a, a good um, Mark Twain quote that uh, I, I never he, he said I never let my schooling get in the way of my education. And, and that's, I think, the, the point that I, I really get frustrated with Barack Obama on is uh, he, he talks so much about, about schooling. Um, and the problem is schooling is not the backbone of what, uh, of what America was, was built on. It was built on uh, hard work, ingenuity, um, uh, you know, uh, being able to blaze your own path. It, it, it was built on, on those types of things. And um, for, for him, though, it's going to um, – everyone needs to go to 12 years of school 
on the on the backs of their fellow Americans. Yeah, twelve months of school. And and, and here's the thing, though I kind of disagree with you on that because where he says democracy, thank God we're not one. Because as the founders saw, if if we had a pure democracy, we would have to pay attention to every piece of information that came out on every single issue because we'd be we'd be responsible for voting on every single issue. As it is, we're a constitutional republic. We elect our representatives. But the but the thing is here, and John Adams said this, even though uh, in the speech Obama said Jefferson said it, is that only a moral and educated and virtual society, keyword educated, can uphold this form, this, this republic. And he said that specifically because information is the key. And in the first part of the speech, he's saying, you know, information's a distraction. Then he's, then he's endorsing education. So well, wait a second. If, if, we're, if information is not what we're teaching in school these days, in education, because it's a distraction. What well, that, are we teaching that was, in that's school? That's the point that I was getting to is that, you know, you're, what I'm saying is uh, he, he thinks that school is the key because that's where he can uh, inundate people with uh, his philosophy through the, through the school systems. But education comes through information. And that's what I'm saying. There's a difference between schooling and education. And people need education and so that they can be informed, so that they have, uh, you know, the, the background in order to, to make yeah, and, and Brooke, when did we reach the point where we we're, we all of a sudden don't have the wherewithal to make a distinction between just just cotton candy information and real actionable intelligence? Well, I think that's the point. This is coming from a White House who has driven, who has had less, well, I think it's a full one, I mean, barely a third of the same number of press conferences of any of the previous administrations in the mm-hmm. last, say, 20 years. I mean, we're, we're talking about uh, an administration who has completely shut themselves off to the media and is editing every little bit of information that's coming out. So I just, I just think I find it interesting. The one thing that gets him elected is now the one thing that, you know, he's talking about is bad. But it's really what it is, is it's just the dissent that he's trying to. Because if you if you look at it for what the statements were, it's really you have to be careful where you get your information from. Well, and I mean, he said that, that, that all of this is not only putting new pressure on you, we the American people, it's putting new pressure on our country. And once again, there's our word, our democracy. So... So how do we take the pressure off? I mean, Michael, NPR has soothing voices. Maybe we should listen to more, more NPR. What do you think? Well, I think this is a classic battle between uh, what, when we're taught what to think versus being taught how to think. I think uh, Barack Obama and a lot of liberals are comfortable with traditional education because oftentimes they're teaching you what to think. But nowadays we have media blogs and other Internet sources that are, that are expanding the information and we're being uh, pushed towards how to think. And I think that's where the problem is. And I think that's why I made the statements he made, because if he's able to use the technology to his advantage, great. But if it's something else where we're learning how to think, then it's another matter. And that you raise a phenomenal point. I mean, we have learned how to cut off debate without even knowing we're cutting off debate. When you talk about logic and critical thinking skills, we've reached a point in this country where if I make an assumption, and I'm not taking, I'm, I'm saying there are extenuating circumstances everywhere, but as a rule for a lot of students, if you polled college, uh, middle school, high school, and, and grade school students today, yeah. If I put an assumption out there, or an assertion rather, out there, it's immediately taken as an accusation. Mm. I mean, it's immediately taken as an affront to, to my value system. If I put out a new idea, a new ass- a- assertion, because all we know how to do is defend what we've been told we're supposed to believe. It's not to, it's not to think critically, logically, or go beyond. The reason no, that no, and Barack it, Obama prefers schooling to education is that education, like we've said, teaches analytical thought and critical thinking. Schooling teaches a set of talking points that are pitched and defined by, who guessed it, the teacher's union. So it's, it's a one version, the solely, the, the one anointed version of the truth with a set of facts no thinking, no questioning subsequently, and it's all it's all coming out of the hose offered by the teachers union. And that's why he he what he wants is essentially is a monopoly on the presentation of facts, which is schooling, rather than critical thinking, which is education. Actually, I think we need more Ivy Leaguers to pay attention to more Rachel Maddow, you know, teacher Mario. We'll see you tomorrow on the hub. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies.